We're on the verge of new Season 1 information coming tomorrow for Modern Warfare 2, but also Warzone 2 and DMZ, along with more stuff upcoming in the next couple of days. So today, I wanted to dive in and recap a bit of everything that we'll be seeing coming out of the next couple of days, and things we've heard about Season 1 in the meantime, and the overall launch of gameplay experiences in DMZ and Warzone 2. As we go along, drop your thoughts below. What are you hoping to see revealed, confirmed, or just general gameplay and information of in the coming days as we gear up for Season 1? If you enjoyed the video, you'll find it at all insightful. Do me a favor and drop a like on it, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to with all things Modern Warfare 2. We've got a ton on deck, of course, with essentially a second launch year of the game coming up, so if you'd like to stay on top of everything, I'd love to have you. It's a lofty goal, but let's see if we can hit 525,000 subscribers by the launch of that. Can we do it? We'll see, but anyways, appreciate the tremendous support as of late. For now, let's jump into some talk about Season 1. So, first and foremost, the biggest question here and most important to the overall launch of it is, when is Season 1? November 16th, next Wednesday, is that date to be aware of. Again, before all of that, we'll see a bunch of stuff revealed in the coming days leading up to that with official promos rolling out soon we'll come back to it but again tomorrow we're apparently going to be seeing warzone 2 and dmz gameplay so make sure you're around the channel for the content here to follow we'll recap everything you need to know but promo beyond that we should be seeing any day now and of course it usually is about a week out from when those launch dates are that everything usually starts the big things like your roadmaps and full season one detail blogs and everything like that i'm expecting probably around monday we usually see those starting out the launch week of seasons in the past so if anything is similar to what we've seen in those sort of patterns, that's when I'd expect it. But as for content to expect, Modern Warfare 2 will start here, the mainline game that we have right now at hand. Firstly, let's talk about multiplayer weapons. We might detail these a little bit more in depth later on in the week here, but we have the Chimera M13B, the Bass P SMG, and the Victus XMR Sniper that are up on deck here for Season 1 content. And actually, if those sound familiar, they were actually in the game before the launch of Modern Warfare 2. If you had early access, the ability to play the campaign a week early, you were able to get in to the sort of back end here and look at the regular creator class and in there you saw all the weapons perks all that kind of stuff that you could use in a functional aspect of the game now those four weapons were in that listing but they were notably absent from the full launch of the game that's something that looking back that does make sense season one is usually completely finished up by the time a game launches historically speaking it seems like they're about two seasons ahead from wherever we are currently that they're working on or finishing up so that would have made sense that it was completely in there ready to go especially the game's the season one launch was just under three weeks away from the game's launch. So not a lot of time to really just put everything in there with one singular update. That stuff was seen in the game ahead of the game's launch, but then a blog post from Call of Duty detailed that we'd have two in the battle pass, but we know that we see more as seasons go on, whether that be for mid-season updates, stuff just kind of along the way in between those and filler weeks, or with the weapon platform system, it's possible that one leads to more. So those four are the ones that I would keep in mind. Multiplayer maps, officially speaking, the Call of Duty blog had laid out ahead of the launch that with Season 1, we would see a returning fan favorite multiplayer map, and that additionally, beyond that with Season 1 Reloaded on December 14th, we'd have another legendary multiplayer map coming to Modern Warfare 2. Now, while listed, it kind of sounds like only two multiplayer maps, and I'm really hoping that's not the case. Vanguard's one map per seasonal update model, I'm really hoping that was just the product of okay, we're already moving on to our next project and they kind of just stopped support for Vanguard because it was the bare minimum. I'm really hoping that doesn't become the new normal, so hopefully there's more on top of these legendary maps that have already been listed, but unofficially speaking, rumored, leaked, however you want to describe it, right now it's looking like we'll see the return of Shipment and Shoot House here within Season 1. But again, with the intrigue of fan favorite and legendary maps, maybe it could be more. I mean, maybe it's High Rise, maybe Dome, or any number of locations that we've already seen built out for Al Mazra. Those maps all you have to do is just, at least in my ignorant mind of how game development works, is section off those portions and just take them from the Almazra map and put them into MP. Beyond that, though, multiplayer will also be getting new modes here. Tier 1 is probably that big one that everybody is waiting for, whether it be your main playlist or you're just doing that for camos. But Tier 1 is your hardcore. That was listed to be at launch, but for whatever reason, it was not actually in the game at launch. Still isn't. But it was confirmed to be coming with Season 1. So all of your modes that you have right now, they'll have a hardcore variation here that you can actually kind of test around already in game in private matches if you go in there you can turn on the tier one mode so bear that in mind that'll be coming gunfight was confirmed a while back to be coming within season one though admittedly we haven't seen a single thing mentioned on it since then 
So we'll have to wait and see how this all plays out, but that is one you can maybe put an asterisk on and expect or hope to see. And then the CDL play, this is another big one here ahead of the ranked launch later on down the line that will be introduced in season one as well, giving a sort of broad general basis of what we can experience with the CDL and ranked play coming later this year, but in a way that it's much more casual, way more accessible as a sort of bridge right now between regular MP using those rule sets for competitive and everything, but without things like the strict, you can't leave or you get a probation period things like that for penalties. And also you won't have any sort of SR or ELO based rank on that season just yet. Beyond that, the final stuff in terms of content is Spec Ops was detailed that it was confirmed again in that previously mentioned blog post that we'll have additional Spec Ops missions arrive with season one. So that'll be some stuff you can also take advantage of if you like Spec Ops. But with so much up on deck, it might be something that gets kind of pushed to the side for a little bit. On the less exciting side, kind of rounding out our Modern Warfare 2 stuff, patch updates are going to be coming. Seasonal updates and the first big title update here for Modern Warfare 2 will include a whole host of things, but one of the big ones is that weapon tuning was confirmed already for Modern Warfare 2 and Season 1. So some of your favorite weapons you may enjoy right now, you might not have the same experience with post-Season 1 update. What I do hope to see also with Season 1 is that functionally basic stuff like barracks, leaderboards, and other stuff like that. I want to see those challenges that I'm working on. I'd love to be able to look into those calling cards, emblems that you can earn and see what it takes to actually do that. So fingers crossed that stuff comes. But beyond that, let's talk about some bridge content, tying together multiplayer with also then the Warzone 2 and DMZ experience, which we'll talk about in just a second. That bridge content, though, is a brand new prestige system. We know that it's going to be the seasonal prestige system, so it is going to be something that is independent in season one, two, three, four, five, and six. And if they do anything beyond that, where you'll have resets each season, Season, but without any information just yet, there is still the possibility that there's some sort of twist here on that system coming. But as we're all hard stuck right now at a max level of 55, with no prestiges or anything like that right now, prestiges overall will be a new point of addition for Modern Warfare 2 content. And finally, a new battle pass system is coming with Season 1 for both Modern Warfare 2 and the Warzone 2 and DMZ experiences. Now, this is described as a new battle pass system, so we don't have any details just yet on what that will entail, but it has been echoed that it won't be the exact same as what we've seen in the last three years. So curious to see where that goes, what may be different, but that's some stuff you can look forward to as well. As for Warzone, well, this again is the sort of new launch here, the big major addition for season one. And that's something that we're going to start seeing previews of this as of tomorrow. Again, streamers and content creators are going to be at Infinity Ward streaming this as of tomorrow. So we'll see what happens here in regards to all of this, what new is going to be coming, what changes have been made since next, if any at all. But really, one of the big things is that brand new map of Al Masra. The gameplay loop itself of Warzone is going to be essentially the same, even if there are some changes here with this drop in, loot up, kill enemy teams and be the last team standing. But the new map of Al Masra is going to be a new learning curve, I think, here for a lot of people. I'm personally really excited to jump back into it. Having been at COD Next, having played Warzone 2 and potentially having gameplay that you'll see in the background right now, three matches at Next, to me, weren't enough. But I loved the map from what we saw at first glance. There are a lot of cool Easter eggs, a lot of cool points of interest. The terrain was good and felt right. It'll be a good experience to check that out all again. But then on the other side of things, we have, of course, DMZ, the Tarkov-esque looter shooter extraction mode that has apparently been in development since before Modern Warfare 2019 even launched. Something that really makes me excited to see what this has in terms of the depth of it, being that it's something that was worked on for so long, if that is in fact the case. Though, I guess, honestly, I should probably stop saying Tarkov-esque, since Tarkov is hardcore, man. I'm expecting this to genuinely be like a casual approach to the genre, but in a way that's way more accessible to the masses. Maybe the same gameplay loop at a base, functionally speaking, but in terms of accessibility, I think the barrier of entry in terms of learning things and stuff like that will be way lower so that the casual player can experience this as well. Now, this will be tethered within the Warzone experience, kind of like how Plunder is that sub mode of Warzone. Plunder is still going to be coming, by the way. I don't recall if that was something they detailed was going to be at launch or like coming a week or two after, but it is going to be something that's there as well. But DMZ is that sort of sub mode and sub game within the Warzone experience in the Warzone application. As we've talked about before, it seems like Warzone and Modern Warfare 2 will in fact be those two different applications that you can install separately if you don't want one or the other. You don't have to have it, but they will be linked by that Call of Duty HQ. So you'll still have the ability to seamlessly launch into one or the 
the other if you do have both installed. But beyond that, that's the Warzone 2 and DMZ stuff to expect at a top level. Then beyond that, some final things here for Season 1. Well, we have the store being introduced within Season 1. That's something where you'll see shop items, blueprints, operator skins, all that kind of stuff coming within the game. And this is also when you'll see your COD points pop up in your UI and menus. So if you don't see that stuff right now, if you go back to Vanguard, Cold War, Modern Warfare 2019, they'll all still be there. So don't worry, you will have those transfer over. It's also when you'll see those redemption COD points if you took part in any of the, say, Mountain Dew promotions, getting that double XP. That's when those COD points will also transfer over to your account as well. So just know that that stuff is going to be coming as well. And then finally, beyond that kind of stuff here, further out, Season 1 Reloaded, we'll talk about this later on down the line in about a month's time or so, but December 14th is when we're going to see things here launch for Season 1 Reloaded. That big stuff is going to see us introduce raids to Modern Warfare 2 in the Spec Ops wing of the game, and then Warzone 2 and DMZ will see its first major content updates as well. But again, that's further out down the line, don't really care too much about that just yet, We'll get there. That said, that is Season 1 and really everything you need to know ahead of time here before all the official promos, reveals, and everything start. Of course, as all of that stuff comes out, we'll keep you to date with everything you need to know here on the channel, so make sure you stick around. But for now, that's what we're going to call it. I'd love to hear your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. What are you guys looking forward to the most here out of Modern Warfare 2 Season 1, whether that be new content, weapons, maps, operators, modes in Modern Warfare 2, or Warzone 2 and DMZ? What are you looking forward to the most? Let me your thoughts and feedback down below. But if you enjoyed the video, you found it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing running all things Modern Warfare 2. We've got a lot on deck, so I'd love to have you guys in the community. For now, though, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.